silver e led a bearish candle last week after retracing for a couple of weeks it has seen the downturn and in fact it has breathed the support levels on the downside for the preceding three drops we have seen it getting the support with the higher lows this time it has dropped this support below this support and in fact now it has come closer to 22 dollar levels which is a major major support levels also in the last month beginning we had discussed one point that lower highs and hence possibly we may see a bearish candle in the month of september that is what has happened now what to expect in the month of october can we expect it to yield a second consecutive stronger bearish candle here where the prices might drop to us to 20 dollar levels or there is a possibility for a reversal from here in the month of october and for next week as well which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators where we'll be observing how the indicators are behaving and conclude the observation with the summary looking at charts and indicators and giving you trading levels and strategies so do watch till let's start firstly let's have a look at the daily charts on the daily charts one important point here is silver see what a massive reversal we have seen here on the last trading session this was enormous this was massive this was unexpected what we had seen earlier in the day a massive rise towards 2360 and then this sharp drop now this was something uh, which must have tripped many of the buyers or traders but interestingly what it has done see it was trading in this consolidation zone for long and this time it is given a breakout after a long long time you can see these three preceding drops were beautifully aligned now it has breached the support here at the same time it has come closer to its next stronger support at 22 22 is definitely a great great support level for silver and below that 2150 levels now this is the next stronger support zone for silver here remember coming out of this consolidation zone this breakout should be treated very very seriously here any break below 22 and 2150 zone should definitely take silver towards 20 dollar levels in the near and also if you look at the daily charts now if you just connect the dots here you can find out see this is the bearish channel in which silver is trading any drop below 22 certainly should take it till towards 2180 2150 levels as the next stronger support now these are going to be the levels from which a bounce back or a retracement can be expected where we can see again the price is coming towards 2250 23 dollar levels now remember one point on the upside now 23 23 20 is going to be a ma major resistance zone and ultimately 23 50 60 is the next resistance zone any more 23 60 is to be treated for a reversal now let's have a look at the week on the weekly charts one red candle couple of retracement candles another red candle now remember also this is a breakout candle where we have seen candle closing below the consolidation zone this suggests that there could be a follow-up candle from here because this is a breakout it can yield another candle on the now another candle on the downside on the weekly charts suggests see the previous move was from almost 23 50 60 zone to 22 dollar levels close to 22 one and half dollar even if it is two-third of this size you can expect 21 dollar levels will get achieved here if it continues on the downside but that requires a stronger stronger bearish momentum to continue here for which now look at the charts here see the rise and it is still forming a flag this this is also suggestive that 21 levels now should be a very good support below 2150 so 22 2150 and 21 these are three major support levels for silver on the down and below 21 it is directly going to hit 20 dollar levels here remember i will still see this as a flag formation on the weekly charts let's observe it carefully only bearishness is if silver stays below 20 dollar levels you can say that the prices are reversed and silver is now trading with the bearish bias now if you look at the long term see these are the support levels you can see plus minus levels are always been a great support for silver it has seen this drop it is trying to converge here but also one must look at the movement here 18 26 then 20 so six dollars four dollars 20 to 26 six dollars then four dollars so 22 levels definitely are a great support below which certainly the bearishness is going to prevail here coming to on the monthly charts lower highs were seen here and then this breakout has appeared now 22 you can look 
how many candles? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So last couple of years, ten to eleven candles fail to stay below twenty-two dollar levels. Remember this fact. This is very very important, and this makes twenty-two is a greater support. Once it stays below twenty-two, twenty-one, eighty. I will look forward to twenty one fifty and twenty one dollar levels as the next major support, and below that it is going to yield a crash here on the downside, which is going to take it further down towards eighteen dollar levels and below. Chances appear the monthly charts. You can see a strong pole and a good flag getting formed here, and silver trying to stay within this zone. But at the same time, one must note that see. Staying below eighty, also there is a probability, but I still see that as a very distant dream, and I do not think so that it is going to break below eighteen levels in the near future. However, if you still look at it on the downside, you will find now just connect the dot. You can still see silver staying in this bullish channel. You can see all the candles getting respected at this level, this zone, and thus I say wait for it to break below twenty-two, and then further bearishness may prevail there. But at the same time, coming out of this channel can bring little. Bearishness towards twenty one and twenty. However, this zone is going to remain a very, very, very strong support here at eighteen dollars and twenty dollars. This is certainly a great, great support. Possibility is less that it is going to break below eighteen in the near future, and in the month of October at least, possibility is there that if it stays below twenty two, certainly little more bearishness might take it till towards twenty one, and in fact further lows. But yes. A retracement, not without a retracement, because see, it is closed flat. It can, in fact, reverse from here at the current zone itself, because this is precisely the bottom of this bullish channel, and hence a reversal from this zone cannot be denied. You have to be watchful here. Now we have seen the charts. Let's also have a look at the. Now looking at the indicator, see twenty months moving average sitting at twenty three, and the fifty and hundred months moving average at twenty two dollar levels. Hundred months is. Ten year and five year average, you can say nine year and five year average, you can say it is sitting at around twenty two dollar level. This is a very very strong support level. As below that, certainly more bearishness is going to prevail. Now, see, this was on the verge of a crossover. It has not yet crossed over. If you look at a stock elastic, this has dropped significantly. The MACD. Now, see, MACD here has seen this bullish cross few months back, and this has come after a good uh, cycle of, or you can say, a good wave here. A bullish bullish move and then the sharp bearish reversal. After that, this has seen a crossover. Now, what has happened since then? It has stayed in green and now it is trying to converge. Remember, it has not yet crossed over. It has seen it, uh, the candle size getting diminished. However, it is yet not to be treated as bearish. I will wait for this crossover because see, once it crosses over, it can try to yield further lows. If you look at the near term, here is the bottom on MACD. However, however, even Just have a look for last ten to fifteen years for MACD. You can see this. It is still in this bullish channel. So MACD is still staying bullish even in the near term. If you see a drop, as I said, below eighteen levels, the chances appear to be less. We are not talking about this month alone, but in the near term also. If you look, uh, I do not see breaking below eighteen, and possibility of reversal will exist very very strong in next couple of months or so. If you look at RSI, this is looking downwards, trying to stay bearish here. Coming to the weekly chart now, likewise on the weekly chart, see this was the crossover. Prices stayed divergent from the 2050-100 period moving average and always converged towards this. Now, after long, it is now staying on the downside, staying below 2050-100 weeks average. Now, these are going to be the resistances on the upside: 22.80, 23.20, 23, 23.50 levels. Yes, these are going to remain great, great resistance, and you can see. That the moving averages have started to converge, suggestive of bearishness. If you look at the stock as this is looking downwards, trying to stay bearish, the MACD is divergent. The MACD is bearish. It is looking downwards. If you look at the move here, the double top and the slope here is actually different from what we have seen while rising. Thus, the bearishness is slight. You can say lesser than compared to the rise what we have seen the, from the bottom. Also, look at the previous highs and hence. uh silver still has the probability for it to achieve the highs here so i still see that uh, there could be a probable pull back bef but before that it may try to achieve the lows first at 22 then below 22 certainly more bearishness is going to prevail and even if it tries to drop 
and can, stays bearish for next couple of months, we may see 20 and 18 dollar levels as the major support. RSI looking downwards, trying to stay bearish. Coming to the now, look at the daily chart. The crossover here. This is the bearish cross trading with divergence, trading bearish here. It has come out of the bull, and remember now it is staying far below the 20 50 100 period moving average 23 23 20 23 50 zone very very stronger resistance exists here and now see the last candle it was a major reversal candle here and it is closed at near to bottom this also suggests that if it stays below 22 dollar levels in the coming week possibility exists for further bearishness to prevail as the preceding candle comes with a long pullback wick here on the upside this calls for it to continue on the downtrend with, few, with fewer more red candles from here but at the same time remember 22 and 2180 is what you should look for major major support levels a stock has to coming to oversold levels here this also calls for it to limit its bearishness for next couple or more candles and then revert from there the MACD is also crossed over trading with divergence trading bearish you can also note that silver has its bottom intact on the daily charts and many a times in last six seven months we have seen silver bouncing back from these levels here so these are definitely going to be uh, the bottom here something which we should watch out for rsi is also looking downwards trying to stay bearish here so now we have seen the charts we have seen the indicators time for me to summarize the observation and give you the trading levels for this week and this month and before I provide you the details, if you want to learn this art of trading, you should join my mentorship batch. The 26th batch is going to start on 9th of October. Limited seats are available. Equip yourself with the tools, techniques and strategy with the help of which you can identify profitable trades and trends so that you can trade proficiently. Reach out to me for more details. My telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Also, you can be part of my signals group. Trading as per the signals, you can benefit. Now, let's have a look at the buying levels because we have seen a good drop there is a possibility for it to rise 2230 and 2240 this is the major major resistance zone also one must remember the faster the drop the faster the rise here so 2230 2240 levels you should watch out for you can buy here expect these as a greater resistance beyond this 2260 levels will be and then 2280 now remember this is the major milestone here once it breaks beyond 2280 we may expect it to retrace further possibility for it to hit 2330 levels will be high and 23 50 and 60 now this is the zone 2350 2360 this is the level beyond which silver will turn bullish as long as 2350 2360 levels are not breached on the upside do not think of silver as bullish or do not think of silver for a reversal beyond 2350 and 2360 is where one can look forward to 24 24 20 24 45 i i do not see that a uh, silver might retrace towards this zone possibly even if it tries to retrace at max in the best case possible scenario 23 50 60 is the going to be a major major resistance and even further to that 24 20 levels should play out very very strong resistance on the hence you should be watchful of these levels on the upside now on the downside where you should sell very very clear you should sell only at 22 dollar levels remember it has got its very strong support at these levels and in fact 2180 once it breaks below 2180 just stay short we are going to look at 2150 2125 and then 21 dollar levels this is achievable this is also achievable and these are major major milestones after 22 you have to keep a note of this you have to keep a check on these levels below 21 if it stays certainly 20 is the target and these are applicable for the complete month of october not only for next week but staying below 22 certainly the bearishness will prevail even if it tries to retrace on the upside towards 23 levels again we can again initiate a selling entry and wait for end of the month where we can see prices staying bearish and where we can see prices closing in red towards 21 or 20 dollar levels as below 22 we have to ensure that we are staying bearish 
एंड एवरी राइज इज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी टू सेल तो टेक योर पोजिशन अकॉर्डिंगली ट्रेड विद स्टॉप लॉस ट्रेड विद ट्रेलिंग स्टॉप लॉस डू लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब एंड कमेंट ज्वाइन माई मेंटरशिप बैच ज्वाइन माई सिंगल चैनल ज्वाइन माई फ्री टेलीग्राम चैनल to get the live market updates also before leaving the video do like share subscribe and comment friends your every like share subscribe and comment is a great inspiration motivation for me to deliver on time every time to the best of my abilities thank you very much have a great profitable trading week and trading month ahead happy trading thank you